So over the first of the classics, then it's the Kipco 1000 Guineas Group 1 over a mile for three year old fillies. And at the top, we've got air defence for Paul Rhodes, Casas Altas for Darren Thompson, Chevy Corvette, Dan Hughes, Classic Mode, Alex Cherry, Contelio, Jim Murray, Cool Bacara, M. McMilk, Cottage Pie, David Robertson, Enough is Enough, Joshua Sutherland, Estralina, Craig Allen, Flamencio, Jim Murray, Ghost Dazzle, John Morgan, Whole Promise, James Shea, Kiosu Nightmare, Vinnie Gerard, Mystery Magda, Padre Hogan, Omaru Cavalry, Leon Van Rensburg, Rave Butler, CDJ, Liggett, Santa Rita, Darren Thompson, the Baroness Craig Beck with Tobago, Martin Cairns, Vlor, Michael Scala, and Zara Phillips, Paul Rhodes. So 21 of them then in the Guineas, the 1,000 Guineas for Phillies, and away they go in the first classic of the season. And it's Ormoro Cavalry, who's just about the first to show, but right over on the far side, Ghost Dazzle, Zara Phillips is out quickly, and now Ghost Dazzle has gone on, but they're beginning to bunch up top, nothing seems all that keen to lead, and it's going to be Zara Phillips, is it, who's going to go on, Zara Phillips, now air defence comes through, right down on this near side, Rave Butler, one of the outsiders who's in with a bit of a chance, but Ghost Dazzle has now gone on again as they pass the six furlong pole, Ghost Dazzle leads the Guinness field, then from Tobago in second, right over on the far side is Zara Phillips, Rave Butler's got this this rail down on this near side and it's going well. The grey in there is Chevy Corvette as well, looking towards the back of the field. Classic mode and the Baroness of the back too, but it's Ghost Dazzle in the lead from Zara Phillips. Air defence in the red jacket, the black and red of Flamencio. Rave Butler down on this near side. Then Tobago Casas Atlas trying to get into it. So to Chevy Corvette, but they've got to get to Ghost Dazzle. And now bursting through on this near side, Casas Atlas has come through. So it's Ghost, Ghost Dazzle in the lead, Casas Atlas. Then Flamencio, air defence, Contelio's also there as well, Chevy Corvette, Rave Butler backing on again down this near side, but it's still Ghost Dazzle who's two or three clear Ghost Dazzle hits the two furlong pole with a three length lead, being chased by air defence, Contelio, Zara Phillips over on the far side, Rave Butler down on this near side, it's Ghost Dazzle who's running them a merry dance at the minute, as they come down towards the final furlong, it's Ghost Dazzle in the lead, air defence is chasing in second, and Zara Phillips and Kiasu Nightmare finishing well, his mystery manga, but it's still Ghost Dazzle as they race up towards one, now they're on a swamp goes Dazzle and his ghost Dazzle air defence Mystery Magda it's close on the line air defence Mystery Magda Zara Phillips Cottage Pie came in there as well and Ghost Dazzle didn't quite get home just fell a little bit short and it's close looks like it could be air defence it's a close one in the 1000 guineas let's take a look it's air defence who's taking it for Paul Rhodes. He always manages to do it, doesn't he? When you think he's down on his knees, he comes out and wins a classic every season. Air defence for Paul Rhodes. The winner, Mystery Magda for Padre Hogan was second. Zara Phillips, Paul Rhodes again was third. And the fourth place horse has disappeared momentarily. It was such a swamp finish, I wouldn't like to say what it was. I think it might have been Cottage Pie. Let's hope the card goes back down again. Indeed, it will. And it was Cottage Pie for David Robertson with Oromo Cavalry for Leon Van Rensburg in fifth. And Ghost Dazzle for John Morgan led all the way, but just got swamped at the finish. Maybe that's one of his American horses that's used to running around in circles and it couldn't quite last out over the straight trip. But it certainly set the race up. Rave Butler ran a really big race as well for CDJ Liggett in his first season. So there you go. Air defence takes it and Paul Rhodes nabs himself another classic.